Good evening, everyone. My name is Julie Hansberry. This is the 6th of December, 2018, and I'm an executive with Send Out Cards. And tonight I'm here to help you make your holiday greetings easy using Send Out Cards. I'm really excited to be sharing with you this evening. Uh, this webinar is going to last for about 30 minutes. And this is just one of many webinars that myself and fellow colleagues and leaders in Send Out Cards are presenting throughout the holiday season to help you learn more about Send Out Cards and to also help you get your holiday card sending done. So I really am excited to have you here tonight. Um, I'm not gonna go over pricing tonight, just FYI, the plans and packages. So I'm gonna encourage all of you, if you are new to Send Out Cards, please get back to the person who invited you to this webinar this evening, and they will be happy to walk you through all the bells and whistles, plans and packages that we have to offer because we literally do have something for everyone, something for every price point, every need. And we really like to, as, as distributors of send out cards or referral partners, sit down with our customers and really have a conversation with them to determine what the best fit is for you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. And um, I'm gonna walk you through sending a card tonight. Um, I absolutely have a blast this time of year sending cards through send out cards, um, particularly around the holidays. And I'm helping a lot of my own customers right now send cards. So uh, I'm really, again, excited to share this with you tonight. Um, I'm actually logged into my own personal account here, and I'm literally gonna walk you through doing a photo card. Photo cards are probably the most popular thing to send around the holidays. Everybody wants to see how much your kids have grown and how the family is doing. And if you're a business sending out cards, I really encourage you to put your picture and or your staff's pictures on cards. People love to know uh, who you are. They love to put faces to names. So particularly if you tend to be um, a business that doesn't do a lot of face-to-face -face interaction, people really do appreciate and enjoy seeing faces the names. I get that comment all the time. Um, even when I send my cards because I have my branding on the back that has my picture. So again, tonight I'm going to walk you through sending a photo card. But first I just want to kind of give you a guided tour of our platform so you kind of have a general idea of where you can find all the buttons and what all these buttons do when you log into a Send Out Cards account. So here we're on our main page. This is my main account page, and it's actually in the card catalog. And I know that because if I scroll down on the page, I start to see all these cards appear. But you'll see based on your screen size or your screen resolution, some of these menus may appear differently. Like I, if I was in a smaller screen, this on the left-hand side would be abbreviated. You might find a few lines at the bottom. And if you clicked on those lines, it would expand the menu. And sometimes you'll see that occur in the upper a menu as well. So just know that sometimes screen resolutions make things look a little bit differently, but you can't break this. So, you know, feel free to click on a button to figure out where it takes you. Upper right hand corner, I always love to point out to my new people that if I click on my name, there's a button here that says Resource Center. And if I click on Resource Center, this takes me to where everything I ever wanted to know about Send Out Cards exists, including the holiday checklist which is going to give you all the latest and greatest information on cutoff times for mailing your holiday gifts and cards. And if you scroll on down the page, there's also a really great tutorial section. And I like to remind everybody of this because it's a great place to come if you forget how to do something and send out cards, whether it's uploading a list of people or maybe just how to send a card again. Sometimes we need a refresher on how to do a particular type of card. You'll find a tutorial here that'll help walk you through that process. So I'm gonna hit the back button here and I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight these menu buttons on the upper right of my screen here. This is just different options where you can get back to the home screen. If you wanna see our business and pricing plans, you can click on those. If you want to go back to our old site, you can still access our old platform. For those of you who have been around for a while, um, we have a brand new spanking new platform that was launched in April of this year. And we are slowly working off of our old platform, but you can certainly um, still get to that. And a lot of people are referring back to that because they want to see what they did last year. They're not quite used to the new site. So they're trying to learn how to do something on the new site. So they revert back to the old. So you can still do that. Although I encourage everyone really get familiar. If you're an old, what we call legacy user of send out cards, 
get used to this new platform. If you are not a legacy user, you're only going to see the new stuff, which is great too. So just jump in and have fun sending lots of cards. You'll see that the tabs over here on the left are a little bit different. And they're going to take you to different things. If I click on the account tab, this is going to take me to my account. This is where I can edit my return address. I can edit the current subscription that I'm on. I can change my method of payment. I can change my username and password, all that usual logical stuff. I can also see drafted orders or orders that I've started or cards I've created that I haven't quite sent yet. I can be, um, they can be found in there. You'll see them here loading here briefly once I've gone in and play with from time to time. And uh, drafted cards are kind of the same thing. Card history is really great. Whether you are a legacy user or a new user, any card you've ever sent in send out cards gets saved unless you actually delete that contact's information. So I can actually come in here and I can search by all sorts of things, name, date, recipient, city, state, but I can see the cards that I recently sent. And you'll see that I actually sent a whole lot of cards yesterday. So those are actually pending and or fulfilled based on the, the time frame that they're getting produced. So that's a lot of fun, but you can literally, I, I really enjoy going back and saying, well, what birthday card did I send somebody or anniversary card or just pulling up somebody's name and seeing what cards I've sent them in the past. I like being able to do that. So let's go back to the card catalog. And I'm just going to give you a brief tour of what this all. Oh, I, actually, I forgot a couple things. Let me point out one, the campaign store. If you are particularly a business and you want to set up some really great campaigns to reach out and touch your circle of influence throughout the year, our campaign store is a great way to do that. You can actually buy sets of pre-made, pre-designed cards that are scheduled to go out over periods of time based on the number of touches that are in each of those campaigns. These are really awesome, very well done, high, high quality. Just, I just love them. Um, I love sharing them. And you'll see that if you come in here and browse, we've got one for just about every type of industry or profession you can think of. We also have a really robust relationship marketing system. And here, not only can you save names and addresses, but you can save birthdays. You can save anniversaries, you can add people's children, their spouse, you can add notes to them, and you can also sort and organize people in groups. And I absolutely love this because it gives a really great, easy way, again, to keep people organized that are in your contact manager, but also make it very easy to reach out and touch them as well throughout the year as your needs arise. And then again, in addition to cards, we also have gifts and hundreds and hundreds of gifts for every occasion you can think of, every need, every price point. We have gifts in our gift catalog that start at a couple dollars to gift baskets up to the two, three hundred dollar range and everywhere in between. Our latest and greatest and our seasonal items are always listed first when you click on the gift catalog. But as you scroll down, you'll see lots of different categories. We have men. Our card size gifts, these are actually some of my absolute favorites because they're just nice little trinkets and tokens that go right inside of a card. We have gourmet food, um, things specifically for women, or the, the ladies in your life. We have children, baby gifts. This giraffe right here is one of my absolute favorites. He always also comes in baby boy blue. <laughs> Lots of books and CDs, gift sets. Really, again, anything you can think of. And if you still can't make up your mind, we have gift cards too. One size fits all in many denominations at some of your favorite retailers that can be used all over the United States and in Canada as well. So lots of really great options there if you can't find the gift that will work for you. Gift cards are the next best thing, right? So now that we've gone over all that, let's go back to the card catalog and let me just lay out how our card catalog is set up. So I like to think of each of these menu um, bands as kind of ribbons that go from left to right. And the first ribbon we always see at the top of the page is just kind of a highlight of the ca a card catalog. And if you click on the next, it's just going to maybe highlight the latest and greatest things or the seasonal things that are available right now. Then the next band you're going to see are the categories that you can select through send out cards. And you can use it, either click on one of these buttons or you can actually search. Type in the search bar what you're looking for and our search engine will 
pull up the cards that match your search criteria. You can also filter cards by type. And we have three types of cards in Send Out Cards. We have a photo drop card, we have a catalog card, that's a stock card that you can edit the inside of, add pictures, text, whatever you like. And then we have a build your own, and this is literally meaning you can build your own completely from scratch, adding any combination of text and pictures you like. And we have some templates that help you do those types of things as well. Then we have some card collections here, and these are just the ones we're kind of highlighting front and center, new, latest, and greatest things. And then you'll see I have my favorites folder, and I've got several cards added here. These are cards that I've spotted in the card catalog that I've sent from time to time, and I really like them. I like to send them over and over again. So I've saved them in my favorites folder just by highlighting the little heart in the card catalog. Enables me to come find them quickly and easily. This next ribbon, these are custom cards that I've created in the past. These are mostly done in our old system but uh, they still show up in my new platform, which is really great. And then again, we see featured cards and then we're getting down into the other categories, birthday, celebrations, holiday, just because, love and so on. So tonight we're actually gonna send a holiday card. And you know what, I just spotted this, this joy card and I really like this and I have a particular picture all picked out and um, I have a few ladies that I play tennis with that I want to send a card to today. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to click on that joy card and you'll see when you click on the card in the card catalog, it pops up in a preview window and this is what it's telling us. It's showing us a image of the card. It's showing us the price I'm going to pay. And just note that this pricing that is shown here reflects the plan that I am on. And we have several different plans and packages available. Again, you'll want to get back to the person who shared this webinar with you tonight so you can go over what plan or package might work best for you. This also indicates that this is a premium card. And what that tells me is it's going to be printed on premium paper. And um, that's really cool because it's just going to give it an extra um, luxurious look, so to speak. If I was choosing a card that had a stock message on the inside, there would be another preview button here that would allow me to see that. Um, that's obviously not the case here. This is telling me it's a blank card inside, which is perfect. I'm just going to hit on customize and I'm going to go to the next page. This is where I get to choose some additional options with send out cards. And I really like this because even though that was a premium card, I'm still getting the choice of paper. OK, so we can choose our paper. Standard is always default, but I can also choose satin or pearl. And I'm actually going to choose pearl on this. OK, and then you'll see um, I get to choose my card size and we have different card sizes available. We have a flat card, which is your five by seven postcard that goes in an envelope essentially so you get the front and back again five by seven it goes in an envelope we also have a two panel card a three panel card a big card and you'll see if i choose a big card i get charged an additional dollar fifty and we also have a postcard now this is a three by five card and i do like to caution people on the postcard um if you're going to put a picture and it's a treasured picture and a picture you want to arrive nicely to the recipient I really encourage you not to send a postcard, but do the flat card instead. It's only a few cents more. Postage will only be a few cents more. And you are guaranteed that it's going to arrive unscathed by the postal office equipment. Uh, a lot of times postcards arrive and they've been smudged and smeared. Nothing we can control. In fact, it happens to other postcards I get from other companies as well. So just something I like to note to my customers and anyone I'm sharing send out cards with, just know that if you're putting a really beautiful picture on a postcard, make it a flat card and you'll be sure that it arrives unscathed. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the next button. And this is going to take us into our card editor. And you'll see that my the front of my card is shown right here. And there's a little pink camera icon right there. And that's telling me that this is a photo drop card and I get to change the picture that's on this card. So I'm going to click on that camera icon and you'll see when I do, I get all kinds of pictures loading on the left here that are currently in my card cat or in my photo manager. If the picture I wanted was not here, I could simply click on this upload a photo button and it would give me the option of pulling a picture from wherever I have them loaded in my system or in my computer. And I'm waiting for this one particular one to load that belongs to my dogs and i'm not seeing it sometimes we get a slow feed here with internet 
particularly in the evenings when it seems to be busy time. Excuse me. So that seems to be loading slowly. So I think I might just pick another one um, just for demo purposes. So for example, this picture right here, this is Morty. Uh, this is a dog uh, that belongs to a new friend of mine. He is so cute, isn't he? So I think we'll just load him. We'll use Morty today. And I'm going to adjust his picture there a little bit. So he's kind of front and center. And then I'm going to click on the arrow and go to the next part of our card. So this is where I'm on the inside of the card. And I get lots of options here. Um, this is really fun to play with. And you can do a variety of different things. So I'm going to keep this one pretty simple for example purposes. But you'll see when I click on the pencil icon, this is where I get my text editor. And in the text editor, I can make a variety of different selections. I can choose my font size to be larger or smaller. I can choose justification, left, center, right. I can also select a different font. And we have lots of different fonts available. I think there's over 50 fonts in here, actually. And I actually really enjoy using my own handwriting. I've had my own handwriting digitized in Send Out Cards. It's my personal font there. And let's go ahead and make that font a little bit bigger. So I have a lot of fun using my own handwriting. I can also choose a color. And I love choosing different colors, especially around the holidays. So let's go with a really pretty, um, oh, let's do maybe, you want something that's going to show maybe like this purple. I like the purple. If you happen to have hex colors where you're trying to match a font color for a particular print item that you have, particularly if you're trying to match logos, and for those of you um, that aren't graphic designers, if you've had some things designed by a graphic designer or print company, they can typically tell you what those color numbers are. You can actually enter those numbers and get a precise match on font color. Now, this is another fun feature, particularly with holiday cards. We have the ability to insert merge fields. And I absolutely love this because if I'm sending a card out to a list of people, I still want it to be personalized. And I still want people to think that it was written just for them. So here I can insert or use their name, the merge field, and I can uh, have this card personalized to each individual I send it to. So I'm just going to write dear, and then I'm going to hit the space bar, and then I'm going to hit first name. And you'll see that that first name merge field gets inserted there. I'm going to add my punctuation and then I'm going to type the rest of my message. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to, since the front of the card says joy, joy is playing tennis with, with oh, pr proper spelling there with people like you looking forward to fun on the courts in 2019. Make it an awesome day. And I'm running out of room here because I made this font really big. So let's go ahead and make this font a little bit smaller. So everything's going to fit OK. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit the return button. And then another feature that I absolutely love about send out cards is the insert signature. So if you have your, your uh, handwriting digitized, you can also have lots of different fonts digitized. And you'll see that I've got a lot of different one, different signatures in here for every member of my family. One of my dogs actually also has a signature. And I'm just going to choose my signature right there. And I am going to make that a little bit bigger because it's a little on the small side, a little hard to see with older eyes. Okay, so I'll make that bigger. And there's my message, all set, ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click the forward button. And now I'm on the back of my card. And again, oh, actually, I want to show you one other thing. Let's go back. So if I wanted to add a lot of pictures or maybe a combination of picture and text to this card, if I hit this other icon, this is the layout icon. And you'll see when I do that, I get lots of different layouts to choose from, all kinds of different combinations of pictures with text, lots of different options I can choose from. And I actually love this because it really, it can do a lot more fun things with the pictures I might have or the extra text I may have. I can also add a colored background. So if I hit background, I can add colors to the background. I can even add a background image, 
which is a lot of fun because I can literally fill up the inside of this card with one big picture. And that's a lot of fun. I don't have a picture that would really work for that tonight, but just know that you can get in here and play with that. And it really makes quite an impression. So lots of different options for the inside of your card there. So let's go ahead and flip to the back. And our back is loading. And this is, again, a really great piece of real estate, particularly if you happen to be a business professional listening in tonight. I love showing business professionals how to use the back of this card to put their marketing, put their branding, but it's not taking away from the message of the card. And we never want to do that, right? We don't want to take away from the personalized message of the heartfelt card, but we do want people to remember where the card came from. So instead of having Hallmark or American Greetings on the back of the card, you get to highlight you. And I would just coach everyone, you don't need to put a promotion back there. You don't need to put an ad, so to speak. Just put your name and your contact information. If you have a logo, you can use that too. So I'm going to show you some of the ones that I've created. And uh, I have several that I use, depending on the, the type of card that I'm sending. My default one is pretty much just a basic heartfelt quote that I love by Maya Angelou that talks about how you make people feel important. And But you'll see as these start loading here, I've got lots of other ones that I've done for a variety of different occasions and reasons. I even have one that I use especially just for birthdays. So it says happy birthday. But I'm going to choose this one here because it'll just remind people uh, who I am. It'll have my face. So if they haven't seen me in a while or they don't quite remember my name, um, my, my face will be on there and they'll know who I am. And this just has a nice little saying about live life, have fun, work hard, play hard eat right and send cards. <laughs> it's just kind of a fun one. So, but you'll see that my default one, um, it's not quite loading here. If I see if I click on it and see if it will load. Um, it's a great message. Actually, it's really my preferred background. It doesn't have my picture, but again, it just has a little quote about, there it is. I, in fact, I think I might leave that on this one tonight. It just as I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And that's just kind of my default brand. It goes out on, on just about every other card that I send. So I'm going to go ahead and click the next button. And you'll see that at this point, the system's going to start creating our order and it's going to show up in a, a shopping cart. And at this point, I'm going to be able to see absolutely everything I've got going on here. OK, you can see I've got the card preview loading up here and I can also see the preview loading here. And it's also just going to give me a summary of what I've ordered. I'm ordering a two panel card. I'm ordering pearl paper with an upgrade of 50 cents. If I decided at the last minute I want to change that, I can just hit the drop down menu and I can change that. Okay. Then you're going to see that the schedule is immediate. Now, if I want to change this and again, based on some of our card plans, I may want to do that. We have a plan just for scheduled cards in the future, or maybe I know people are traveling and I don't want this to go out right away. I can click on the calendar there and I can choose a send delay of a specific date or select a birthday or an anniversary. So you've got lots of options there too. Okay, I'm going to leave it at immediate. Price is $1.75. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just choose just to show you guys how this works. Send on the Pacific date, and I'm just going to choose that this goes out in a couple days just to show you how this works. So today is the 6th. I'm going to choose the 8th. Okay, and I'm going to submit that. So you'll see that that change. These will not be printed and sent until the 8th of December, which is really cool. Um, again, my price down to $1.75. Oh, because I changed the paper back to standard. We'll just leave it there. And if I wanted to add a gift at this point, I could. I'm just going to click on the Add Gift button, but we're not going to do that tonight. But that's how easy it is to do. It just takes you right back into the gift catalog. We come down here, Return Address. Now, this is my default return address just for me. But if I was happened, if I happened to be sending out a card for my family, I could literally put from the family of or the, from the Hansberries. I could put a company name. I could change all of that. Now I'm going to go to add recipients. And I actually don't have these uh, my particular tennis friends in a group yet. But there's three of them that I want to reach out to today. So I actually played tennis with them today. And so I want to go ahead and send them a card. So I'm just going to click on add contacts. And then I'm just going to search them. So one lady is Kim. And her last name is Hardwick, but I'm going to just click Kim and see. You'll see all my Kims come up, right? And let's see. Where are you, Kim? Let's go find her. GH. So she's going to be on the next page. 
And there she is. So I'm going to select her and then go back to the search bar and I'm going to I'm going to type the next lady is Seema. And there's Seema. So I'm going to add Seema. Oh, let's try that again. I must have bumped something. There we go. So there's Seema. And then I think I also still have Wafa in my account. I think I've gotten hers. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I got to reach out to her. Let's see if Deanna is in here. And Deanna, oh, did that again. I must be bumping something here, <laughs> which happens all the time. Okay, and there's Deanna. So I'm going to click on Deanna, and then I'm going to get done. And then you'll see if I scroll down here, I've got this card is attached to three different people. Okay, and I'm going to hit the, it's, you see it's saving. It's loading here to make sure we're all set to go. Let's have it catch up here in a minute. And just as a reminder, there are three different types of cards you can send with send out cards or three different ways we send send out cards. We send single heartfelt card sends. And those are cards that are going out individually to a single individual created just for them and it's sent immediately. Then we have group sends and those are cards that are sent where you have one card and you're sending it out to a list of people. And those can either be sent immediately or at a scheduled date. And then we have what we call scheduled sends. And those are the like the campaign cards that I went over earlier in the call tonight where you're sending out cards over a period of time predetermined by you. You get to set them all up, but they're going out at a future date. And again, we have many plans and packages that fit the needs of all those three types of cards. So you'll want to get back to the person who brought you here tonight. So there's my ready to send button. The system's already locked and loaded. It's ready to go. I'm going to hit ready to send. And you'll see my shopping cart pops up again. And it tells me, okay, each of these cards is going to be $3, um, $1.75 a piece. I'm doing a group send here. So I'm being charged based on the plan that I'm on, $1.75 per card. If I was sending these cards individually, one at a time, and I redid the message personally, each one, I would actually be getting these cards for free, which is really cool. But I'm leaving this as a group send. I earn group sends every month with the plan that I'm on again get back to the person who brought you here tonight but everything's ready to go this is going to charge my card when i'm done i hit send processing order congratulations i've just made the world a better place because i've just sent three people i really care about and enjoy spending time with a personalized card letting them know how much i appreciate them so now i want to show you one other trick because let's say you were in the middle of all this and you're like oh wait i wanted to do something else i forgot to add somebody to that card or, you know, a variety of things. You might have to go back and maybe redo what you just did. And we can do that, which is really cool. So I'm going to just hit on the account button. I'm going to come here to card history. And the three cards that I've just set up are right here. And I can do a variety of things right here. I can click on them and edit them. I can cancel them. I can, you know, go in and maybe re, I can pick this card right here and resend it to somebody else. So you have a lot of time for a while after you create the card. Now, we are in the busiest season of the year. So know that these cards will be processed relatively quickly. We do multiple print runs throughout the holiday season because of the volume that we handle. In fact, I was told last week that we actually had a million card day one day last year. We literally sent over a million cards in one day. So we do get busy. But at least, you know, you have a few minutes. And just a tip, if you want to give yourself a little bit of leeway time when you're creating these holiday cards especially, go ahead and do a scheduled send. Change that date like I showed you how to do, and that will give you some time to come in here and edit them. I will say from time to time I like to change one or two of them depending on who they're going to. So you certainly have the flexibility to do that. So, again, that's me tonight. And uh, I'm just going to flip right here to the My Account page. And going to go back to card catalog and my main page. I am just going to go ahead and bring up the pricing page again. We have lots of different options for everybody. We have monthly packages that will fit any need or desire for the types of cards you're sending. We have a couple special packages for those scheduled types of cards that we I mentioned. Get back to the person who brought you here tonight. Let them walk you through the options. Ask you lots of questions about the types of cards you need to send not only for the holidays, but throughout the year as well. 
and let them help you figure out the best package for you. If you're not sure who that person is, please feel free to reach out to me on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram, or you can reach me at julie at hansberry.info. I would be happy to help you find the person who can get you set up and started. And uh, I'm just really excited to have you here tonight. So let me just check the, the chat button, make sure we didn't have any questions come in while we were going through our presentation. And it does not appear that we did. So looks good. I think we're all set tonight. Again, this is Julie Hansberry coming to you from Seattle, Washington. I'm an executive with Send Out Cards. And I really enjoyed sharing this system with you and helping you with your holiday card sending needs. Again, get back to the person who brought you here tonight. We'd be happy to help you get your holiday cards done and help you with your card sending needs throughout the year. Thank you again. Happy holidays and have a great evening. Bye-bye.